Okay, today I'm going to walk you through how to make your nose cone and fins for your water bottle rocket. We're going to start by making the nose cone, and what I'm going to use here is the pre made Pitsco cardstock template. And these are marked really well. Uh, for our uh, prototype, we're going to use a two liter bottle. So I'm cutting out the two liter one. We're going to make a nose cone as opposed to a transition cone, so I'm going to cut on the solid lines and not the dotted lines. Fast forward a little bit, you don't need to watch me cut it all out, but when I'm done I have uh, the basic shape of my nose cone. Now you can use glue for this, I would prefer to use clear packing tape, it's a little easier to work with. I'm just going to take a strip of this and I'm going to use it to roll my nose cone. There's a dotted line here, so it shows me exactly how far to roll this. Line the dotted line up with the other edge. Once I have it there, I just push down on my tape to seal it. And I have the basic shape of my nose cone. Now, if you're off just a little bit, if it's not perfect, you can take a pair of scissors and trim it up so that it sets flat and will set flat on the top of your rocket. So once we have our basic nose cone, the last thing that we need to do is to close off the end. And to do this, we're going to use a ping pong ball. I'm going to take the ping pong ball and put it up through the center so that it sticks out the hole about halfway. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just run a small bead of hot glue all the way around the nose cone here where it connects to the ping pong ball. And I want to make sure, I want to use enough glue here to hold the ping pong ball securely in place, but uh, this glue can get kind of lumpy if you put too much down, and that will definitely increase the drag and decrease the performance of the rocket. So as small of a bead as I can get away with but still securely anchor that ping pong ball is what I want. Once that's done and it's dried, I've got my nose cone. I'm now ready to work on my fins. And the first way I'm going to show you is um, how to make your fins just simply out of the fin material. Um, you can make whatever shape you want, however uh, the most efficient design you've learned by now is going to be the clip delta. So that's what I'm going to show you is, is how to make a clip delta fin. And I'm going to measure this, it's going to be 3 inch clip delta. So one side of it, one side of my fin is going to be 3 inches, the other side is going to be an inch and a half. The bottom is going to be 3 inches. And I've got the basic shape there laid out of my clip delta fin. From this point then it's simply a matter of taking a pair of scissors. You could also use a utility knife for this if you prefer, but I find that scissors work adequately well for cutting through the fin material. And a few quick cuts and I have a clip delta fin. Now one of the things that we want to do is just uh, take a, a small piece of sandpaper and just smooth off the edges of this. Now this is a paper based product so you don't want to spend too much time sanding on this because you'll end up just shredding it to pieces. But just lightly running uh, some sandpaper over these edges will clean off any burrs. Um, you can round it a little bit so that uh, that will decrease the drag, increase your aerodynamics and, and increase the performance of your rocket. Once I have the edges smoothed out, I have a clip delta fin. Now the other way that I can make a fin is I can use cardstock. And if and again, if I wanted what I've what I've done here is I've provided you with a template for if you want to make a clip delta fin out of cardstock, um, I have the templates for you. I'm going to make a four inch clip delta fin here. So I'm going to cut out my template on the four inch line. And again, the template's clearly marked out. You can make anywhere from three and a half up to five and a half inch fins. Again, I'm making a fin 
that uh, the base edge or the edge that connects to the bottom to the bottle rocket is going to be four inches. So I'm cutting on the four inch line. And then once I have that cut out, get rid of my scrap paper here so it's not in the way. Once I have that cut out, I can take a piece of cardstock. I've chosen a lovely goldenrod color. You can. This is one of the places where you can get creative and, and choose whatever color you want. But, um, I'm going to choose goldenrod. Take a marker and just trace around my template, transferring the shape of the template onto the cardstock and it, it's really important that this is cardstock I'm not just tracing this onto regular weight paper um, regular weight paper is just not going to be tough enough to hold up to the forces of a launch so I'm, I'm using cardstock here my template design is now transferred onto the cardstock we all know what to do from this point take a nice pair of scissors and just cut And this is a place where I want to take my time and, and cut cut smoothly, make nice clean cuts, nice straight lines, because it'll make, uh, number one, a better shaped fin, which will increase the performance of my rocket. Also, if I've got straight lines, it's going to make it easier to glue or tape this fin onto my bottle rocket. A couple more cuts here. Got this notch at the top, and I now have a fin. The last step is to simply fold it in half. And once I do that, you'll see the clip delta shape there. Those two little tabs sticking off the edge, I can fold those up, and that's going to give me a surface to tape my fin onto my bottle rocket. Crease that leading edge, make it nice and tight, crisp and aerodynamic. That is a clip delta fin made out of cardstock paper. Now, obviously you're welcome to use whatever shape fin you want to, so should you choose to make a cardstock fin that's not clip delta, it's really simple to do. Just take another piece of cardstock and I'm going to mark out the shape of my fin. In this case, I'm just going to do a delta or a triangle shaped fin. It's going to be four inches long, two inches wide. I'm going to mark the leading edge. That's the edge that's actually going to, as, as this bottle rocket travels through the air, that's the edge that's actually going to absorb uh, the force or the friction with the air. I cut out my fin, that's what the shape of my fin is going to be. Now I want to use that to make a template. And so I'm just going to lay it back on the cardstock, take my marker, trace around it. And then I'm going to flip it over that leading edge that I just marked. Line it up with the edge and trace around it again. And I've basically now just made a mirror image of it. The last thing I want to do here, and this part's optional, but it's going to make attaching it to your rocket a whole lot smoother, is I just want to lay out and draw out some tabs that I can fold and then use to actually connect the fin to the bottle rocket. Okay, so I have the basic template of my 4 inch by 2 inch delta fins. Again, nice sharp pair of scissors. Doing my best to cut nice straight lines. One more cut. And I have my clip delta fin, or my regular, my standard delta fins. 
And just like I did with the clip delta ones, I'm just going to fold it in half right down the center line that I drew. Fold up the tabs that I marked off. That'll give me a flat piece that I can tape or glue to the bottle, to the body of my bottle rocket. And I have a delta shaped fin. Using that technique, you can make cardstock fin uh, really in whatever shape you want. And using those techniques, you shouldn't have any problem putting together the nose cone and the fins for your prototype rocket. Thanks for watching.